Kiss, and it's time for Ryan's Roses. Let's get to Ryan's Roses. Then I'm going to tell you where we are in Orange County, broadcasting live this morning, and we'll get into our tour. But I got to get through Ryan's Roses because this came to us from Culver City. We're going to be at the Culver City Mall later, Melissa. FYI, I don't know if you want to come out. Probably not after all this, but we are going to be there at Malik Books, if you know that, in Culver City. So she writes us and says, I got this anonymous text that says, I'm so sorry, I had no idea he was married. Then she tries to reply to find out who it is, and she's blocked. She is blocked. See, Sketch. I just, I don't, I, not like why reach out at that point, but why reach out if you're just going to do that to someone and then block them? I think this person feels bad but doesn't want to get tied up in the drama. Didn't right, know about it. Right, really right, right. didn't know about it. Is trying to do right. trying to do the service of letting the wife know but doesn't want to get wrapped up in it because they were naive and didn't know. That's what I think. Let's grab Melissa. She's on the line right now. Melissa, thank you for reaching out to us. Any idea at all who that came from? No. I have no, no idea. idea. Um, no, no. I, okay. And how long have you been married? Uh, we've been married 22 years, so we've been together 27. Nothing ever came up in the past that made never. you think he was cheating? Like, no, never. Nothing. <sighs> I don't know what to do. I don't even I don't know either. how I would feel after getting... I mean, I, I would be completely turned upside down, hollow inside, I'm, sick to my stomach. Totally. How has I'm he been totally acting around shocked. you? Well, I mean, that's the thing. I mean, he... He seems fine. And, okay, I mean, I, I, I don't even know if it's a scam, you know? Like, the text is completely out of the blue, and I couldn't respond. Like, when I responded, she'd already blocked me. It, you know, it went from, like, blue to green on the... Oh, sorry. I just, I just have no idea what to do. I, I, I can't. Well, here, you, you do have an idea. That's why we're here, and we're going to get into it for you. You just hold on one second. I don't need okay. any more information. I mean... Unless this woman's making it up, and why would you do that and then block? Exactly. Whipped it a second. But first, Melissa's into it with Ryan's roses. So Melissa got this text. I'm so sorry. I had no idea he was married. She can't get back in touch with the other woman. She got blocked. Married 22 years. Never suspected her husband of cheating. But why? First of all, do we know? I mean, what if it was a mistake? Like, do we know? Um, did you think that? It uh -huh. might be. It could be a mistake. Like, like she what if it accidentally was cheated? You don't accidentally. No, like the woman's hit the wrong phone number oh my gosh what a terrible mistake that would be it'd be a bad mistake but it's it, it i'm just looking at the realm of possibilities and you have not confronted him melissa no no because i don't want him to say it's a mistake if it's not a mistake right okay. all right so no, we're gonna want to catch hey, did you get an area code you catch an area code here yes it's 909 mm. i i don't know anybody from 909 that's quite a ways from culver city it's to 909 IE. All right, yeah. uh, here's what we're going to do, Melissa. I need you to say, Ryan, you can call my husband. You have permission to call my husband. Go ahead. Ryan, you have permission to call my husband. Yeah, do it right now. Be very quiet. Let's see what we can find out. We're going to offer him some roses. Let's see if he gives out roses to somebody else. It's on his mind. All right, here we go. Good luck, Melissa. Thanks. Thanks so much. Hi, is this Nelson? This is he. Hi, Nelson. My name is Emily. I'm calling from SoCal Blooms. How are you doing this morning? I'm good. How are you? Great. Um, so, you know, we're offering a promotion. It's a free dozen red roses that you can send to anybody that you'd like. They could be delivered today, uh, pretty much anywhere in Southern California. Just trying to promote my business. And if you're pleased with our arrangements, uh, hopefully you come back as a returning customer one day. Is that something you'd be interested oh. in? I don't need cash. I don't need credit card info or anything no, like that thanks. from you. Are you sure you know there's what? nobody you'd want to send flowers to? I'm not interested at this time, yeah. Not. We would just need the name of the person, and we'll be done in, like, two minutes. Um, They're wait, free. I don't get it. Why would you? Why do you call people and then offer them free roses? I we do this promotion yeah. about once a month, and then hopefully, if you like our arrangements, people come back as customers. So you, you can just, just see... like, a bill, billboard or something. Wouldn't that be easier? This is just the promotion that we do. So is there's nobody that you would want to send free flowers to? Uh, you know what? All right, I, you know what, I'll do it. Okay, um, why don't you send roses to uh, my wife, Melissa? Okay, and what would you like to put on the card? Let's just put, um, after 27 years, uh, 
How is it you get prettier every day? Question mark. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of in a hurry. Sorry. Nelson, I know you're in a hurry. Let me get to it. Your voice is being broadcast on the radio. And I've got your wife, Melissa, on the line. Nelson, you're a little bit sour about this floral promotion here. And I want to pry on that, if you don't mind. Do you have a second? So, yeah, who is it? My name is Ryan. And Nelson, I've got your wife. And she knows about the affair you're having. You didn't tell her that you were married. So we're here for you to explain it to your wife. And you may go ahead. What? Hello? No, Nelson, it's me. Listen, I got this text from somebody in the 909, and it said, I'm so sorry, I had no idea he was married. Are, Nelson, are who's you that there? from? Who's that text from, Nelson? Uh, yeah, I'm here, I'm here. Mm -hmm. Who's that I text just... from? That's... Um... Who sent the text, Nelson? Oh my God, this isn't a scam, is it? This is real. Who said the text? Nelson? You'd be telling us, you'd be, you'd be telling us you knew nothing about it. You'd be telling us it was a mistake, but you're just silent. So Nelson, the she's, easy thing. She's, she's my. Who sent it, Nelson? Look, it, it's not important. Melissa, we can clear oh this God. up without other people involved, okay? Oh my God. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. Look, babe, I'll tell you everything. We can get through this. I swear. It's just, it was once. It was stupid. We can get past oh this. Oh, my God. We need to do it on national radio, if that's okay with you. Oh, yeah. No, I don't know if, uh... <laughs> oh, my God. Nelson, you're cheating on your wife with whom? She, she We've got the phone number, Nelson. You might as just tell us. We've got the phone number. And stop I, lying. I, I'd, rather, I, yeah. I'd rather not. All right. I how long it, at this time. Yeah, we know well, it wasn't Nelson, just once. How long has it been going on? I just want to see if it matches up with what we have here. It's been a little while. Oh, my God. So not just once. Yeah, it's not yeah. just once. And why is it, Nelson, that you did this? It's it's hard to explain. I, you know, it's just, it's just something that happened. It came out of the blue. It wasn't like I was like seeking it out. Mm. Just hit you in the face, landed in your lap. All right, basically. Well, but okay, oh, well, Nelson, uh, I'm gonna let you go. Uh, Melissa, we're also gonna let you go. Okay, thanks. I think you've got everything you need to know there. Good luck to you. Painful. I was watching this 2020 special called The Interrogation Tapes. Mm-hmm. I was using some of the stuff. Was that the movie? Yeah, yeah, you, oh, you were a little yeah, different yeah, approach yeah, this time. from the Scotland Yard on it. Yeah, I liked your whole, like, go ahead. Yeah, no, it's... That's a good movie. Yeah, because they said, like, try and be friends with the person you're trying to get answers from. Wow. Well, you were like, we already have all the answers, so I'm like, yeah, now go ahead. Just yeah, go ahead. Just tell, see if it matches what we have. Uh huh. We don't have that. But he. Are you growing? I'm putting on my watch list. Although I don't know if it's on on Friday, but it's a 2020 ABC News Studio special that was on after Idol. They are next. 800-520-1027. Maybe you heard something. A lot of times you hear stuff we don't hear. Boone is on air with us in Inglewood. So, uh, Alexi, thanks for listening to us. You heard that Ryan's roses. The guy's cheating. I don't know. I mean, there's nowhere else to go. He acted like it was one thing, and he said it fell into his lap. He wasn't seeking it. Irrelevant. Irrelevant. He, irrelevant. Doesn't matter. They've been together 27, married 22. What did you hear in that Ryan's Roses a few minutes ago? Right. I mean, he did say she's my, and then he stopped himself. Oh, right. I mean, who is she? She's yeah. my ex. She's my coworker. She's my friend. She's my neighbor. She's my swim coach. What is she? Right. My swim I coach. Mean, and then he was so defensive at the end. It, it, affairs don't just happen. They take planning. They take manipulation. And yep. seriously, if I were her, I'd just leave this 27-year relationship behind. Just go. Oh, I, it's just, it's so crushing so to think you've built a life of memories with someone, and here you are. Here you are, Nelson. Thank you very much for listening to us, Alexia. That's Ryan's Roses.